Welcome to another episode of Photography Behind the Scenes. Today it's time for some 35mm film again. I came out here to the countryside with a roll of Fuji Pro 400H loaded in my Pentax K1000. I didn't have anything particular in mind that I wanted to shoot, I just wanted to be out here before sunrise and see what I can find here. The first photo I decided to get was this view here over the road that goes across the field towards the sunrise. This is the result. I think it's a decent start. The photograph effectively shows this quiet, peaceful atmosphere of the countryside before sunrise. A little detail I enjoy here are the power poles. They just add that little something to the scene, I find. I'm not sure what it is though. Maybe it feels slightly comforting because it signals civilization and people, which therefore makes this photo not as lonely as it might come across without the power poles. The next photo was just a turn to my left away. I thought this little shed and trailer construct could act nicely as a subject. The brown wood seems to add some pleasant colour contrast to all the greens. Here's the result, and indeed, I really like how the trailer shows off its beautiful colour here. I also think the directional light is pretty cool, adding this intense shadow to the front of the trailer, which gives the photo some three-dimensionality. Also, apart from the photo, what is this trailer actually? It looks like a tiny shed on wheels. I like it. After that, I walked down the road a bit and came to these bushes where I thought I could maybe find a composition from here. I knew I was up to something and wandered around a little until I found the composition I was looking for. This is what I got. So what I was wandering around for was the right amount of bush that is at the bottom of the photo. The plants there in general add a sense of depth by acting as a foreground, but depending on my position, they sometimes took up a lot of space in the composition. The way they are now, they are quite subtle, which I think came out really nicely. It feels balanced. A different element of the photo that has some weight is the path that leads from left to right and into the distance. So due to the weight it had on the right side, I didn't want to have too much space taken by the bushes, so I think this outcome is pretty good. Something I miss here, however, are those clouds at the back. If they were only a bit closer to me, they could add a lot of interest to the sky, which in my case is sadly just an empty gradient. Next I continued to walk down the road and as I came here I thought the long straight road leading into the distance had quite a powerful look so I decided to capture it. Here's the shot and I think it's pretty cool. There are many details I enjoy here such as the end of the road. I love how the road leads to the trees at the end there and you can see how the trees have this cute tunnel shape. Additionally, that power pole on the right is a sweet detail I find. At first I wasn't sure whether it might be distracting but I now think it's a fine detail. Another little something to appreciate in my opinion is that tree on the left side that rises higher up than the rest but still stays in frame. By rising up like that, it stands out from the crowd, which gives the tree some character, I find. Then, I decided to turn around and head onto the path that led across the field. On the way, this view here caught me. I could see some potential in the shed trailer and the bigger shed behind, acting as two subjects in a photo. I'm not sure about this because the light is not so very directional. I suppose it'll still work. <laughs> I do think the light is beautiful.
This is it, and I think it's beautiful. I think the two sheds work wonderfully as subjects. I was a bit worried about the lighting being too boring, but I think in this particular scene it works fine. A little detail I would like to point out are the trees at the back that are already slightly fading away in the fog, which adds a decent sense of distance, seeing as everything that is further away gets hazier. Then I made my way onto the path and stopped for this view of the field with the power poles. This is the shot and I like it. I'm again fond of these power poles. I think something specific I appreciate about them is that they are pretty rudimentary. They are all just this one wooden pole with some cables on top, unlike some of the modern, more bigger ones that are grey and look super industrial. Next, I had walked down the path a little and came to this field where I spotted this shed that I thought could work as a subject. Here's the result. I think it's okay. The shed unfortunately didn't work as well as anticipated because it's pretty dark with barely any detail so it's sort of hard to identify which I think decreases its importance in the composition. Overall, the shot isn't bad though, the atmosphere and feeling I was going for is conveyed. Then I walked back to take the other turn on the path. I passed many interesting things which all had some potential but I didn't really see anything worth a shot. Eventually I ended up stopping for these green hay balls that were lying deep in these bushes. Here's the result, and I think it's interesting. It's not exactly catchy, but the longer I stare at it, the more interesting it gets. It feels a bit odd, almost surreal. The hazy look of the scene, paired with the big hay balls lying in the leaves, give me some alien vibes. Something that strongly contributes to this feeling for me is how untouched the hidden balls look because they're almost buried in these leaves. Do you know what I mean? It feels a bit like the beginning of a sci-fi mystery film. After that, I thought it'd be cool to just get a simple shot of the path here that leads into the mist. Here's the result, and I think it turned out quite nicely. There's not much to point out here, it's pretty simple, but it brings across the mood of the morning quite effectively. Next I decided to switch my lens. I had a telephoto lens in my bag and I thought that this might be a good moment to make use of it. I was aiming to capture the mountains a bit closer. Here's the outcome. In the end, I decided to not go so close, but instead also include the landscape and the trees in the foreground. I think it worked in a way that the mountains remain the focus of this picture. The foreground adds some great detail to the photograph I find by giving the photo some more context and also accentuating the mood. Then, before switching back to the 35mm lens, I walked around a little to see if there's anything else I'd like to shoot with this lens. Indeed, I found a power pole in the distance in the mist, looking somewhat mysterious. This is the result, and I think this worked out great. I'm loving the atmosphere created by the morning mist that slightly fades the power pole. This photo, for me personally, is one of the stronger ones so far in terms of feeling. This one really emits some atmosphere and feeling, however I can't exactly describe what it is. It's a little bit of mystery, but not suspense. It's too peaceful to feel suspenseful. Maybe the mood has a touch of adventurousness to it? I'm not sure. 
Anyway, before continuing into the sunrise, I'll quickly take a minute to give my sponsor a shout out, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community for learning, well, skills obviously. They have a platform with thousands of classes for creative people, so this goes from filmmaking, illustration, business, all the way to photography. So Skillshare is basically a curated collection of video classes in which a teacher shares their knowledge. Because it's specifically laid out for efficient learning, the classes are neatly organized and there are of course no ads, and additionally they are constantly adding new classes to the collection. So for example, a class I can recommend is the 35mm film photography class by Kyle McDougall. I recommend this to you if you're watching this video because you're interested in film photography but haven't yet tried it. Kyle's class is an amazing breakdown of the basics to help you start. So the people from Skillshare have created a link for me to share with you with which the first 1000 people to click the link in the description get a 1 month free trial of Skillshare. So if you think this sounds interesting, I would much appreciate you using my link because that lets Skillshare know that you're from this community and that I'm doing a good job. So, I walked back along the path where I came from to go back to the road. As I was walking on the road, the sun finally peaked above the hills and the whole lighting situation changed. Everything got this warm glow from the side and so I decided to stop here and take a shot. This shot is beautiful in my opinion. I mean, there's of course a reason that photographers like to shoot sunrises and sunsets, and here the reason is clearly visible. The whole field is glowing thanks to the orange backlight the sun provides. I included the road in the composition to have some variety, and I think it's alright. One minor annoyance this creates though is the dispersion of focus. The sun pulls me to the right, while the road pulls and leads me to the left, and so the actual focus becomes unclear. At the same time though, one could argue that this widens the focus and the photograph is to be taken in as a whole, which I think is a valid perspective as well. I continued down the road and came to this little path on the side that led to a shed. I thought this scene was interesting, so I set up a composition. Here is the result, and I think it's alright. The sunlight at this time of day is beautiful, however I think it was unfortunately misused here. The direction of the shed and my angle to it causes the light to be very frontal, which flattens the photo. This isn't necessarily bad, but I personally don't think it goes well with this scene. Then, I walked past the shed and found this tree on the side of the path here which I wanted to include in a photo. Here's the shot. The tree isn't exactly pictured as the subject of the photograph, instead I went for a wider angle to just make the whole scenery the focus. Here too, however, I have the same issue like in the previous photo. The light is from the wrong direction, for my taste at least. Here's a comparison to the photograph I took on the road, which had a far better angle to the sun, I find. I came back to the road, and I spotted a power pole on the field that could act as a point of interest in a composition of the field and the mountains in the distance. This is the result, and I love it. The position of the power pole isn't perfect, because it seems to have too much contact on the left side of the mountain, however, that's a minor mistake that doesn't bother me much. Far more important, I think, is how the scene feels overall, and I think this one worked out nicely. I like how the bottom of the photo is in the shade, and we then get to see the sunlit field behind with the beautiful scenery. The light here is now more sideways than before, which I personally think simply looks better. Then, over here, I wanted to get a shot of the field. I don't understand why I couldn't see the main issue coming here already, but as you can see, I'm photographing in the wrong direction again. 
So here's the result, and similar to the photo of the shed and the tree, the light is too frontal for my taste. Strangely, I usually only notice this stuff when I see the photograph, not the scene in real life. Anyway, at this point, I remember that my hands felt like they were going to fall off as ice bricks soon, so I decided it's time to end the shoot. I think this was a fine morning. It was extremely cold, but I was able to get myself out there and get some decent shots. My favourite of the day is this one, I think. What about you? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm always curious to read what you think. So that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, I'd appreciate a like on the video. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet. And I'll see you again next week in the next video. Until then, goodbye.